This is uh, Dane and Cindy on our next adventure. We're heading for Ko Chang and we're just waiting at the ferry from the mainland just below Trat. And we've caught a car, there's our taxi, and it was a really good day. We, we took a tour taxi for you, Thailand. Cost us three and a half thousand baht from Bangkok to, and they take us straight on the car ferry to Ko Chang and then straight to our hotel. So that was a good deal. We thought that we just needed some comfort after uh, what we've been through recently on boats and tri uh, buses and whatever else. And here we're queuing. And here's the, the queue for the ferry. We're gonna go onto the ferry just now. Looks like it's coming in there. So there's the ferry coming in. Uh, and we're gonna depart from here. There's some of the cars. So all very exciting. New adventures, new places. New island, never been to uh, Ko Chang before. So this should be great. So there's the ferry with all the cars on it, packed. So there the cars are driving off the ferry. Okay. Just uh, we're about to go and drive on just now once that's empty. So that's great. <laughs> wow, new experiences in Thailand. So this is us coming into Ko Chang. It looks absolutely beautiful. Lots of mountains, jungle, a little a little ferry port over there. And just look at that. It's gonna be nice to be on the beach again. So we're on Ko Chang and we're in the sea and we've been loving it. And if you just look here, there's the beach. Lovely beach. This is called Golden Beach, eh, Mani? Bang Bio, down south of the island. Bang Bio, down the south of the island. The sun is setting. So it's a lovely afternoon. And there's the beach. Lots of little uh, cafes and resorts along the, along the beach here. Bang Bio, Golden Beach. Lovely place to swim. I think we're going to come back here and maybe have a have a swim and it's just lots of islands out there welcome to paradise again it's a little islands lovely clear water as well very cool yeah we've just arrived at our uh, resort elephant bay resort lovely there's the swimming pool there's the sea right on the beach so really lovely and there's cindy this is our room just a very basic room and uh, hello, Mani. Are you there? Yeah. 800 baht a month. 800 baht a month. So it's a fantastic price. We'll be right on the sea. It is a rocky beach, but it's uh, still great. And this is our room. Very, very basic. Uh, TV, but not a smart TV. Kettle and little fridge. Nice bed. The bed's quite comfortable. There's an air con. Uh, not a lot of covered space. A little bit of shelving, but it's great. Nice for five nights. And then here's the bathroom. It's another wet, a wet bathroom. Hello, everybody. And uh, there it is, very basic, but good enough for you, for us for a few nights. Uh, this is our resort. It's called Elephant Bay Resort. We're staying here for the first five nights, and then we're moving. We'll show you that resort. But it's such a lovely afternoon. It's going to be a great sunset. It's going to be a great sunset. It's just, uh, it's just beautiful out here. There's palm trees. It's all calm. It's a wonderful sunset. And here's just the main building. People sitting, chilling, just watching, enjoying, just getting ready for the sunset. Great place to stay. Here's a boat um, getting to go out, just right in front of our place. So this is the, the morning, just a lovely, lovely morning. Here at Elephant Bay Resort, just sitting here, just in front of where we're staying. And the boat's getting ready to go out. Tough living in paradise, eh? Guys are going fishing. It's so tough living in paradise. Here he goes. 
It's like they're taking a fisherman out for the bad guy who wants to go fishing. That is so great. We've got, uh, it looks like a type of rhino beetle, and uh, oh, very, very cool. And it's on a friend of mine's shoe next door to us, in the room next door, but he's quite large if you look at the hand in it. Gee, he is beautiful, eh? Absolutely gorgeous. The joys of living in paradise. We heard about this little beach, and we drove down this road. It's quite, a, quite an adventure, and... Uh, but it's so worth it. It's called Liska Beach. Here's where we parked our bike. And uh, that's the walk. And here is where we're sitting. So all you've got to do is order a cool drink or a drink and from the, the little bar here. And you get to sit on the shay lounges and have an umbrella. And then you get to swim and enjoy this. And there's hardly any people on this beach called Liska Beach, so worth it, really, really worth it, paradise, and uh, we do recommend this. So this is Liska Beach, there's a little hut there, but the really interesting thing is if you look over here to the right, they have a whole uh, glamping section, so there's tents and that in here that you can do glamping in, I can see they're cleaning them out at the moment, but probably not glamping, it's probably just uh, overnight camping. And uh, they've got the deck chairs and the tents. It could be a real rustic way to be right, right on the beach. If you look at this one, this tent is right here. And there's some others in the forest over there. It's just absolutely lovely. Look at this place. This is like, this is paradise. Absolute paradise. So we at... Uh, by over Bung Bao, we found a road that looks over Bung Bao, over the harbour. We parked our bike here, and it's just such a lovely view. Just the Sunday morning, there's the little lighthouse at the end of the, the pier there. There's Bung Bao Harbour, that's where the ferry, some of the ferries leave from for Kopud and Kome. And just such a lovely morning. And there's my beautiful wife. Shame she's not feeling too good, got a little bit of an upset tummy. And here's our little bike that we've rented for a couple of days. While we're down south of the island, we're moving up north tomorrow. But just such a lovely view, hey, my honey? The views of Ko, Ko Chang, a lot of the places are still abandoned down south here. Probably due to COVID and that. Very sad. We're right down south from the island next to Bang Bar Harbor across the way from there. We just come across this, uh, almost looks like a dive resort. These beautiful places right on the on the water here, and uh, very interesting. Lovely, lovely. So we've uh, found this jetty, and we're just going to walk in and see what's at the end. It looks like a house or a dive school. It looks uh, there's the harbour over there. Such a beautiful morning, hey, my honey. After the rain. After, After the rain. rain. There's some faces over there. Built into the water. It really is lovely. Uh, there we are, just walking, adventuring, finding out about Ko Chang. Just a lovely home in there. So all the palm trees, a real tropical place. Just a tropical, tropical paradise. Probably said that 50 times in this video. We've made it to the end of the pier. Just uh, all the islands out there, the boats going out. There's a boat, there's fish underneath the pier here. There's Cindy looking at the fish. What kind of fish are there, Mahoney? Zebra ones. Pretty, you probably won't be able to pick it up on the camera. And across there is Bang Bao Harbour. This is uh, Bang Bao Pier. We're here, we're going to have a cup of coffee, some lovely shops around, and all interesting things. As you walk along here, are some of the ferries that go out and across. Just a nice, quiet day. Clouds are out. And there's the lighthouse at the end of the pier. Very nice. The islands out there. 
So we're walking along Bangbao Pier, and there's a whole section, like uh, all little shops and restaurants and that you can choose from. Uh, very, very nice. I always find it so sad, but it's still interesting, all these little uh, squid, little cuttlefish, just here, just in the restaurants. Shame, there's such a beautiful one there. So sad. And yeah, the crabs, yeah, very sad, but it is interesting, and it's part of life here in uh, Thailand. Just also interesting, people living on the pier, just uh, their lives, the pier, the scooters, their houses. Very interesting. Yeah, on the pier, it's quite amazing. There's even uh, places to stay. You can come and stay on the pier. Uh, so there's like homestays and probably Airbnbs and whatever. So such a great place. There's Cindy looking at all the costumes. There's a restaurant. So this is a real happening place. Quite incredible how all these uh, homes and that are um, built on stilts. So it's literally a village built on the sea. There's Cindy just relaxing in the ocean. She's lying on a little lilo that she bought. Just enjoying it, relaxing. She looks like the ultimate picture of relaxation. Just out here, you can see the islands in the, in the background, and the little boats over here. What a beautiful spot.